Hey everyone, today I want to talk IndyCar and most particularly the third race of the season in Long Beach, California. What a place to race. I mean, you've got the sun, you've got, you're in California, you've got the sea, you've got the waves, you've got the beach, and you've got an amazing racetrack that Long Beach is uh, south of LA. So, I mean, you know, just LA sounds great, but racing in LA is even better. So what a third round of the season. I just want to go through my weekend. Obviously, P2 at the end, that close from the win. But uh, yeah, it didn't start it on the best, uh, from the best west. So, you know, let's, uh, let's go and talk about it. Right, so Friday afternoon, free practice one, 45 minutes. Beginning felt okay, but then we started having uh, an issue on the car. We had a set of brakes that didn't work, and I kept pushing the brake balance rearwards, meaning I had a lot of brake on the rear axle and not so much on the front, but still it wouldn't get any rear locking, so there were no decelerations. So we did try to um, set up the car and get a few dampers test, but really we weren't able to read much into it because the car wouldn't slow down properly on the corner. And when you're on a street course, obviously that doesn't bring the confidence up. So finished only 20 seconds, but I, I knew I had some pace, but my engineer told me I wasn't worried. I was a little bit more worried after the the free practice one uh, we changed everything we put what we thought was the best setup together for our free practice two that was on saturday morning quite early saturday morning so still a a, a fairly cold track temperature uh, saturday morning which was not going to be the case for qualifying so we just had to make sure that we were on top of that but that went up that was a much better session one on black was competitive you know find few bits and pieces on the car got it to a, a decent place and then you have to know that in indycar you only have one set of red tires the red tires are soft tires in free practice and you're gonna put that one at the end of the free practice too because whoever sets the fastest lap in the second practice session in indycar decides which group is gonna start in qualifying so group one will be odd number most of the time and group two would be the even number so i finished first of the free practice two in front of coltonata i decided to go group two in qualifying the track is always better group two and in my group would be obviously me and then the third the fifth the seventh the ninth the eleventh and so on and so on of the free practice two and then in group one coltonata would be there as he was second and then the fourth the sixth the eighth the tenth and so on and so on so that's how the groups are decided for qualifying pretty much 13 cars in each group that's a 10 minute session there is no green flag green time guarantee from the time you leave your pit box to your first time lap you have to push like hell because maybe the first lap you do out there in qualifying is the only lap you're gonna get you know if anyone has a crash and there's a red flag and the red flag lasts more than eight or nine minutes the only lap that you would have on the board is the first one you went and you made so really important qualifying in any car to push flat out from the beginning so out of those two group the six for the six fastest lap time move on to what's called the fast 12 and then same thing it's a 10 minute session there is no green time guarantee you have to push like crazy 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 to be part of the fastest six fastest of that session and then those six fastest go into the last part the q3 if you want and that's called the fast six the particularity of the fast six is that you don't have any more new tires you have only two sets of new reds for the qualifying so you normally put one set of new reds in q1 one set of new reds in q2 and then in q3 you have to use a set of tires that's been worn before so it's quite a tactic tactical game to make sure that you don't put too much laps on the tires early on in this in the session so you get just the best tire for for q3 so we went out in q3 felt good the first lap you know went across the line in 64.5 i thought it was good enough for pole but my uh, strategist told me on the radio that's p2 i'm like okay uh, p2 so i decided to send it <laughs> Basically, the second push lap, I was absolutely flat out. Uh, I was on for 65-0, absolutely stunning lap around Long Beach, but out of turn four, I brushed the wall and that broke one of the rear toe link. The outside of the left rear wheel went like this, or like that, whatever. One direction, not the rear one. And when I touched the brake for turn five, obviously the rear wheel wasn't straight, so it sent me into the wall. I mean, I picked up my wall. It was the DHL wall, so, you know, cooperate until the end, but that was an ideal end. So there's another rule in IndyCar, which is very hard, but fair, I find. If you create a red flag in qualifying, they would remove your two fastest time. So they took away my 65.5 and that was my only lap. So I ended up six in the fast six because I didn't have a lap time on the board anymore. If not, it would have been uh, definitely would have been uh, P2 on the grid. 
But anyway, I started the race six. I had an okay start, but got past my Marcus Ericsson. That had a, a late break to turn one. They did a good job there, really. They did a good job. You know, rolling start are very easy when you're at the front. When you're in pole position, second or third, it's, it's very easy. Further you go back, a rolling starts get really tricky because everyone goes a little bit on front of the brakes, like mm, 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 the speed goes like that. And then, you know, you just want to be in the right momentum for when it goes. I could have done a better job there. Marcus passed me and then, uh, you know, we had a strategy in mind. It was always going to be you use reds so I started on use reds new blacks new reds for the end of the race that's why we decided to go you know in IndyCar it's very hard to make a strategy basically before you go in the race you've done four laps on the red tires so you've got no idea what's the life of them how long they're gonna go for what's the degradation gonna be are they gonna eat the cliff or not so there's there's a really a lot of unknown doing the strategy before the race and I kind of like it then the race honestly the race was quite straightforward looking after the tires until we got close to the end and that's where everyone got started you know I think Long Beach are there high level of grip a huge amount of grip on track and and it was hard to turn the wheel and also there was only one racing line as soon as you would be outside the racing line it would be like so slippery so you had to race there so we had a few yellow flag the first one allows me to catch back and then marcus erickson hit the wall in turn forward to jump on the brake and turn to avoid him that cost me a little bit of time if not i think i could have had palu at the first restart and then new garden uh, when i still had a bit of push to pass but i had to use a couple of laps of push to pass to get past palu meaning around of push to pass uh, towards New Garden and uh, then we had the Jimmy Johnson and, and Malukas incident another caution I had a brilliant restart honestly at the momentum I carry out of the chicane, the, the airpin going on to Joseph Newgarden, I thought I had him. I thought I had him, but it was too, too fast on the straight. They were on more downforce, more drag than we did, and it was just too fast on the straight. So couldn't quite pass him. And then I had kind of back off for the last two laps to give it all in the last lap, uh, saving the tires. But um, I think Takuma Sato put it in the wall and, uh, and we, had a, we had a yellow there. The race finished on the yellow, but it was a good race. I didn't really have any moment where I thought, you know, I wasn't in control of the car. I kind of played a little bit safe. I had, at the back of my mind, I had 2021 Long Beach where I hit the wall in turn eight and, and I had to retire the car. I did not want to do that. I really wanted to finish the race. Pretty convinced I was going to win uh, when the caution came, but um, as I say, I just ran out of push to pass. I wish I had like an extra 10 seconds of push to pass and that would have been good enough, but didn't have it. So, you know, P2 is still really good. Puts me six in the championship chip next race is barber it's gonna be exciting it's a track where i started i made my debut in indycar last year and then uh, we go to indy gp where i finished twice second last year and then we go to the big indy 500 that's gonna be a, a huge month in indianapolis we're going into a long stretch barber indy gp indy 500 detroit road america toronto and so on and so on so we go racing a lot but uh, i'm excited about it feel good in the team i think we we've got everything we need to be able to fight for the championship